again, uh, this is Sikh Khan and um, this is one of 15 trees I acquired from a guy in Cheddar Gorge in Somerset. Uh, he describes it uh, as uh, Japanese cedar. I'm not quite sure what it is but one thing is for certain, there's a lot of neglect and it's in a uh, quite a bad state. Uh, I'm a glutton for punishment, sorting out other people's mess and uh, I have started working on it. Um, I'll give it a quick turn. And this side you can see is full of weeds. I haven't yet tackled this. I had started here and then realized that I hadn't kept a record of, uh, of what I'm starting up with. On the trunk you can see a lot of moss, which is not good for the tree as that part of the tree bark is permanently damp and eventually it will rot and the tree will die. In fact, the tree has already quite a lot large chunks of it have died and I'm not quite sure what it is but I intend to clean up the moss and tidy it all up and uh, start feeding it and hope that I can uh, recover uh, this tree. I didn't know that these trees had bud here we have a new shoot, uh, which is good news as there is a possibility of me rescuing this tree if I have caught it in time. Recently I worked on a similar tree which belonged to a client and that also had suffered but not to this extent and we were able to save that tree. It, uh, the uh, foliage had started to go brown and um, I think it was brought to us just in time. I will continue with the tidy up and we will catch up shortly. I intend to bring this torch down wire it downwards like so and I've already removed a fair amount of uh, foliage which was growing here and uh, in preparation for the wiring save me coming back and removing it again so I'm doing that now so the foliage which is here will become a downward facing so I'm removing it at this stage so this I'm hoping to wire downwards to try and fill some of the gap here, this big gap here. And um, this again, I'll be wiring down and pulling the branches as best as I can to compensate for the gaps. These pipes will be wired down, as will this one and this one. So again, foliage which is growing this side stage save it doing so at the wiring stage
it acts as more of a bush and I'm cleaning it up and also removing branches very close to the apex. These are secondary branches. And having cleaned it up, we'll then see what we have and uh, what can be done with the top. cleaned it up and uh, so this is a side branch and have got completely mixed up with the top and as are some of these side branches. Let's clean it up for now and uh, perhaps maybe wire one or two and leave the rest to grow as they are still quite small. I'd encourage them to grow sideways as opposed to getting mixed up with the top. So this one will probably tidy up a little more, removes a lot of this foliage going down and then wire at least this one. So at least it starts to go in a sideways, sideways direction. Sometimes it, uh, uh, the trees look, the ones which have been neglected look absolutely hopeless and when you start working on it, it's not as hopeless as it first seems. And uh, while it is caught in time, the trees can be rescued. The pot was very badly neglected. Uh, lots of weeds, grass, and uh, it's bad for the trees as uh, there's very little soil in the pot and all, these, uh, all the grass and weeds are taking uh, nutrients away from the tree and is the tree is competing with the weeds. Absolutely crazy. Uh, I like the pots to be very sort of tidy, weed free and uh, it helps also keeping the pot looking nice as in the tree and the pot are meant to complement each other and if the pot doesn't look uh, neat and tidy, the tree doesn't look at its best. So I try to tidy up the pots as much as I can, also polish them occasionally. Uh, and this is quite dirty, it's a nice pot that has been again not cleaned for quite some time. And I'll also be addressing the issue of this uh, moss shortly as soon as I've finished tidying up the pot. There's still a lot of very fine weeds which the camera can't see but as I pick them out you can see the soil coming up with it. Let's continue tidying this for a little while. I'm using water and toothbrush and just gently brushing the moss off. quite high, it's up to about this height. That's terrible and that's probably another reason why it's suffering. But it generally, uh, moss as it remains damp, would then uh, cause the bark to be damp and uh, eventually it would rot away. And the tree would be dead. So it's best to remove it.
will continue removing the moss and will catch up shortly. In the process of cleaning the <coughs> pot, I have um, found uh, that the wires with which this tree was anchored are well, one set is broken, and uh, it appears that at the time of repotting, this was being done, and um, the wire seems to have broken and it's just been left. And the second anchor wire is here and it's very loose. And what happens when the tree is not properly anchored in the pot, the tree moves. And the very fine feeder roots which feed the tree are broken. And this could also be one of the reasons why the tree is suffering. So I'm firstly going to tighten up this sort of, uh, anchor wire. Uh, it, I can see is quite loose and secure the tree oh, that's a bit better right, not to tighten too much don't know how strong this wire is so I'll leave it at that and then basically remove this wire, the broken one, and use another wire which I've prepared here to uh, make an anchor with the remaining wire on the other side. the short one. I don't intend to repot it. It's too hot right now. And although I've um, repotted deciduous trees, I haven't done one of these. I'm not going to chance it. There's too many problems with this. So for the moment we'll just tidy it all up and uh, try and rescue this tree as best as we can and repotting we'll have to wait another day. Oops, it's terrible, it's broken again. Oh my god, it's got, it was broken, it's been broken in quite a few places. That's very, very basic one size of principles to make sure that the tree is properly wired in. And in this instance we have wire, wire breaking in multiple places, so I have to straighten this up and prepare another link from here. Better to remove this. Start again. We'll start again and uh, this time hope that there aren't any more broken wires which are below the surface. look very promising. There's a bit of play in it. Ah, oh, okay, that's from the bottom. That's okay. That's okay. That play is from the bottom of the pot. I was worried that there was another broken wire somewhere. Right, now turn this round and let's try and secure it here.
Okay, we'll call it a day there. It's fairly secure now. Before there was a fair amount of play in the tree. There are too many branches up here. And uh, it's spoiling things a little. So I'm going to remove uh, I've got a fair amount of fork. I'm going to remove this branch here and this branch here. So leave that one and that one. And uh, there it goes. So this is going to come off. Right, here we are folks. It's uh, been a few hours since uh, I started working on this. Uh, I have uh, cleaned it all up, removed all the dead stuff, found a lot of things wrong with it. The, wire, the anchor wires were, one was broken and the other one was not secured. The tree was moving in the pot, a lot of um, weeds and grass and uh, I think generally it's been very badly neglected. So, rectified all that, removed quite a few branches and uh, this is where we are. I will give it a quick turn. And a pot has also been cleaned. Uh, initially I used a damp cloth uh, with water to take off the debris and then use a bit of camellia oil and with a dry cloth to remove all the excess oil. Uh, thank you for watching and to watch more please subscribe.